in a strong statement to India's adversaries, in Indian subcontinent. Chief of Army Staff, General M. M. Naravain, on Thursday, commissioned the last of the four indigenously built anti-submarine warfare. Stealth warships INS Kavarati, under Project 28, Kamorta class, into the Indian Navy, in Visakhapatnam. The ship portrays growing capability of India, in becoming self-reliant through indigenization, stated by Indian Navy. The keel of Kavarati, was laid on 20 January 2012. And it was launched in Kolkata, on 19 May, 2015. Kavarati has been designed, by the Indian Navy's Directorate, of Naval Design, as part of Project 28. It is capable of fighting under nuclear, biological, and chemical environments. It will be a frontline warship of the Indian Navy, with advanced stealth features and a low radar signature, that enhances its anti-submarine warfare capability. The ship will have a complement of 17 officers, and 106 sailors. It is the successor ship of the older Kavarati, which was part of the task force for Operation Trident, during the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971. It was an Arnala-class corvette, and was later decommissioned, in 1986. INS Kavarati, is indigenously designed, by the Indian Navy's, in-house organization. Directorate of Naval Design, and built by Garden Reach shipbuilders, and engineers. Kavarati, has state-of-the-art weapons, and sensor suite capable of detecting, and prosecuting submarines. In addition, to its anti-submarine warfare capability, the ship also has a credible self-defense capability. And good endurance for long-range deployments. The ship has up to 90% indigenous content. And the use of carbon composites, for the superstructure, is a commendable feat achieved, in Indian shipbuilding. The ship will be commissioned, into the Navy as a combat-ready platform as the ship. And has completed sea trials of all the systems, fitted on board. The ship is 109 meters long, and 12.8 meters broad. And is highly maneuverable, with a top speed of 25 knots. It has a displacement of 3,300 tons. And a range of about 3,450 nautical miles, at 18 knots. It is powered by four diesel engines, that generate a combined power of 3,000 kilowatts.